Hello. So welcome uh, as we go through Proverbs again together. So I really hope you're, uh, yeah, you're getting something out of this. I presume you are if you keep coming back and this is, if this is your first one, welcome. <laughs> uh, really simply, this isn't any deep biblical theological teaching. This is just some thoughts uh, to really get the ball rolling on what are my thoughts on just reading a couple of verses from Proverbs and really to give you something to talk about with other people when it comes to reading the Bible as well. Maybe to give um, get the ball rolling with some thoughts in your life or maybe just a little nudge or a little prompting uh, based on what the Holy Spirit is speaking to me about in terms of my understanding uh, of Proverbs. Today we're looking at two verses again. It's two verses every week uh, at the moment and we, I'm looking at Proverbs 3 verses 7 and 8. And for this, whilst I always do the reading from the NIV version, I will also follow it up by reading a second version, the New Living Translation. So Proverbs 3 verses 7 and 8 from the NIV says, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. And then the same two verses from the NLT version of the translation of the Bible. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Not a lot of words there, but again, like I've said every week uh, when looking at Proverbs, just by looking at some of the great truth in two verses, it really just widens things for me and God is really doing something in my life. The NIV version starts off by saying, don't be wise in your own eyes. And if you're just looking at it as a straight, what does this mean? What does it mean? It says, don't look at yourself and think you're wise or don't look at yourself and think that you're wiser than other people. And I can infer that second bit. Why? Because the New Living Translation gives us that little bit more that says, don't be, let me get it right, don't be impressed with your own wisdom. When you're impressed with your own wisdom, you go, oh, I'm, I'm a bit good, I am. I'm a bit special. They didn't know that, and I did. So this verse is saying, don't look at yourself and think you're wise. Don't be impressed with any wisdom that you might have gained from God or from the Bible. Don't look at yourself and see wisdom and go, oh, great. Where should our eyes always be? Our eyes should be on God. And that's what these saying, because great thing about it is it doesn't just say, don't be wise in your own eyes. It doesn't just say, don't be impressed by your own wisdom. But it follows it up straight away in both cases by saying, fear the Lord and shun evil. What is wisdom? Not looking at ourselves and our understanding and our wisdom. But wisdom is actually looking to God, revering God, honouring God, respecting God and doing all we can to get away from any evil practices that might take us away from God. Where are our eyes? Are they on what I know or what you know? Is it on our own understanding or are our eyes firmly planted on God? And actually, there's something extra in there. Are our eyes firmly fixed on what God has? We feel God has revealed to us. So we think that gives us a right to be above other people as well, because actually wisdom is humility. Wisdom is not putting ourselves above other people. Wisdom is not looking at, ourselves, looking at ourselves going, look how wise I am or look how much wisdom I've gained from God. Wisdom is acknowledging that all truth, all wisdom comes from God and he loves us all equally and gives us all the opportunity to learn from him. True wisdom doesn't try to be God for other people and say, God's revealed this wisdom to me, so I'm going to lay it down for you. Wisdom humbly takes whatever God has revealed to us and we humbly present it to someone else as equals and say, this is my understanding. I might be wrong on this. God is bigger than all of this. Why don't you have a look and, and take this to God and for God to have a look at it? 
We can all get it wrong. We're human beings. We are fallible. And that doesn't just mean that we can get it wrong, but actually we can hear wrong as well. We can believe at times God has said something to us, but it's not. We have been steered in the wrong direction. Wisdom is being open to that and keeping our eyes fixed on God. Don't be impressed with how, how much you know. Don't be impressed and think you have the right to enforce that on other people. What we should be doing is wisely being humble and sharing what we understand and saying, I, this is where I am. Why don't you check it out with God? That is true wisdom, not being impressed with our own, our own understanding. Interestingly, when we do big ourselves up or we do put ourselves above others uh, or we do get impressed with ourselves, what is the root sin? Pride. Pride. And pride is sinful. And all sin is evil. So when we get impressed with our own knowledge, when we look into our own understanding above others, actually we're operating out of pride. Verse 7 says, fear the Lord and shun evil. That can be read as, and I've heard it as, it's just shun evil in others. What about shunning the evil in ourselves? Shutting down the pride that our knowledge, our wisdom, our understanding is better than theirs. We need to be shunning that evil too. Wisdom is humility. Wisdom is knowing God knows all. And God can reveal to each of us at our own pace and our own way. Wisdom is humbly leading other people to God, not trying to be God for other people. And the minute we look more to ourselves and get impressed with our own understanding of God's wisdom, and the more we try and inflict on us, the more we're trying to be God to other people. We then operate out of pride, which is a sin which is evil and we need to shun that in ourselves again there's a verses in the psalm that says search my heart O lord and uh, reveal to me anything that's you know sinful basically i think we all need to catch ourselves in this because the the more we get revelations from god the more we can fall into this trap let's not be wise in our own eyes let's not be impressed with how much we know about God or how much we understand. Let's fear the Lord. Let's honour him, respect him and do what we can to lead other people to God. Not being God for them. None of us are perfect. I'm not. None of us are. We have the right to go. I think this is what God might be saying to you. But why don't you go and check it out yourself? Why don't you go and pray about it? Not to go, I'm right and you're wrong. That is not wisdom. That operates not from an even playing field, but one like that. And that's pride. That is not what God wants for us. And it is not wisdom. Wisdom is, this is what I think God's, my understanding of God, but I might be wrong on this. Let's check it out with God together, keeping our eyes fixed on God. And then verse 8, it's odd again, verse 8, NIV says, when we do this, we brings health to our body and nourishment to our bones. OK, and that's lovely. That's great. Uh, but again, I think the NLT version brings more light to this. Why? Because it says, then you will have healing for your body and strength for your bones. Not just health, but healing. Where does healing come from? Healing comes from the Lord. He heals. So that means we have to be open to God and in relationship with God. And what does our sin do? Our sin can cut us off from God. So if we are operating from a sinful place, a, pride, a proud place, a prideful place, we are less in relationship with God than we could be. When we act humbly and wisely, with our eyes fearing and revering God, we are closer to him. We are less cut off from him. 
and we are more open to his healing than if we were just being this I'm proud and I'm right. What remember sin separates us from God. That's why we need to keep repenting to remove that. And God has the grace to go, you repent and I forgive it. I take it away. I wash you clean. That's why we got to keep repenting and repenting operates again from that standpoint of God is amazing, revering and honoring and fearing God, knowing our place, humbling ourselves, not being proud and repenting. And when we do that, we're more open to the healing of God. Also, strength it says nourishment in your bones in NLT. It says strength for your bones. Where does my strength come from? My strength comes from the, hopefully you all said Lord. The minute I think my strength comes from me, I become self-reliant and I become proud and I become sinful and I'm no longer fearing God as I should be. And I'm no longer shunning the evil within me as I should be. I'm now putting myself on a pedestal, which is not close to God. My strength comes from the Lord. Which means I rely on him to get me through that. Give me today my daily bread. I rely on God for my strength to get through the day, my wisdom to get through the day. The words I need to get through the day it comes from God, not from me and my own sense of knowledge and understanding, but from God. And I've got to keep myself reliant on him. Wisdom is all about humble reliance on God. And when we are humbly relying on God, fearing him and revering him and honouring him and respecting him as he deserves. It's good for our soul. It's good for our mind, but it also is good for our bodies as well. Wisdom is humility. I keep saying it. It's not. It, wisdom is looking to God. And admitting. He's greater than anyone. Wisdom is the humility to not raise ourselves above others and admit that we may be wrong on something. No matter how right we feel. Wisdom is not being God to other people. But trying to push other people, not push, but you know what I mean, lead other people to God. So they turn to God themselves. He will correct. He will teach. We need to stop putting ourselves in God's place. We've got to be careful. Humanity loves putting itself above others. Humanity loves it. we got to keep wrestling with it. We've got to keep being alert to it. We've got to keep opening our eyes to it and saying, God, have I got this in me? Because if I have... I repent and break it. Because when we start raising ourselves above others. We are no longer being the wise children of God. But we suddenly saying I'm better. We need to stay humble. And that is what wisdom is all about. Stay safe. Follow the government guidelines. Look after yourselves. Be humble with each other. Keep looking to God, keep revering God, and you will know and experience more and more of the fullness of God in your life. And I look forward to seeing you soon.